Good morning and welcome. Got a special treat for you all today. I am filming my hubby who is building me a, what's it called? Mm, a turning machine, <laughs> turning cups. A cup turner because I'm going to be doing, or I probably already have done by the time you see this, is um, some I'm going to paint on some insulated cups and then resin them and I'm going to give them for Christmas gifts. So my hubby is making me a cup turner. So we bought this, um, what is it called, John? It's a rotisserie for a barbecue. Okay. Do you want to say hello, John, so, to everybody? Yeah, hello, everybody. <laughs> so um, he's in his dirty old work clothes, so please excuse. Um, and he's going to give you a demo on how to make this cup turner so if ever you're interested in following me with my cup paint and pouring and uh, resin on cups then you'll be able to make this easy little cup rotisserie so we bought the rotisserie it was just for the barbecue section and in our local hardware and with that and the bracket and the rotisserie parts there's there's some extra pieces if you want to make it longer or shorter and this is the piece that sits in this to to uh, keep the bearing, keep it nice and straight. Um, when we I, I got these brackets down the local hardware and have uh, pre-drilled them, ready for uh, putting setting up. So when I put it together, the main thing we've got to look at. And I'll just take a bit of time and put these two together. To mention that this is an electric rotisserie so I can just plug it in and um, I can just plug it in and let it turn away for the required time of the um, that I'll need the cups to turn so the uh, resin dries nice and even and doesn't run so apparently this is what we need so my hubby well. is making one well, you can get, you can turn them yourself, keep turning your cups, turning your cups, but that is too much work for me and, and it, I'm not going to do that. So uh, far easier to do it this way. You can buy the pre-made um, pre cup turners and I have got one coming on order, but it's going to take three weeks to get here and... As with me, when I've got an idea in my head, I really want to get in and do it. Like, do it, do it. So, hence that I've got hubby, John, to make you, well, to do a demo on how to make this little um, cup turning thing. So, the main thing is, is to make sure that the, the two centres are in exactly the right spot. You need um, to hold it down, darling, yeah. so they can see what you're doing. So, actually, that's not go yeah, that way. So that needs to be the same height as the on, okay. as the centre of the uh, of the turner there. So you see that one there is in the centre. It lines up with the centre. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll screw this this bracket slides in and out quite easily. So it's nice and easy. I pre-marked this, just measured the centre of the timber. This timber is about 300 long. It's a 190 wide, so you go 95 to the centre, pre-marked them. And then I actually pre-screwed pre them. I had to grind the end of the screws off because they were too long, but if you get the right size screws, it makes it even better. Right. And your battery drill. Just to, uh, it just makes it quicker. And easier. So. Just pop them in the kitchen if you like. Pop them in the kitchen. It's all right. I'm just... <laughs> Ava, uh, granddaughter's just turned up at the door with some plates and dishes that they've got up at their cottage, obviously to replace. <laughs> Send back down to Nanny and Pop's house. Gigi, as she calls me. Gigi, Grandma Jill. So. And Poppy John, PJ. <laughs> Okay, back to the serious. Should leave 
them a little bit loose while we put the rest in. So I'll all... tell you how excited I am to be <laughs> trying this, diversifying the channel. And to move that in. So we go, tighten it all up. Okay, there we go. So we sit our little, our little thing on the slide. Is it the right way up? Yep. It's a little it the right electric motor, so that's not like top heavy and. No, when you put the weight of this on it, it holds it down. Oh, okay. So the idea of this thing here is it's it's like a bearing thing, and when you push it in, it holds it into the drive. So you push it into the drive like this, and that. That bearing sits there, and then you tighten that up. But don't like I need that. a little bit yeah, so longer to hang if off? Jilly wants a little bit more length, so what we need to do is where's the other little pieces, darling? Uh, I think I put them just in the cupboard at the end okay. there. I'll just turn it off for a minute. And we'll find it. You're right? Yep, yeah, we're so right this, again. this has come with accessories and different length. There's two of these long ones and then there's two shorter bars. So we can add an extra bar on so Jillian's got a bit of extra room to... If I want to do bottles or um, something on those, then I can add the longer turner. So uh, then Jill can put a long bottle on there and then um, we're going to use this. Now the other thing is, is you've got these things here which actually go on as well. So maybe one day Jill's going to have a hairbrand idea and um, and be turning something else with those. So anyway, yeah, have there. a think about those ones. Have a think about those. The other thing we can do is I can I can move this bracket in a bit, and we can use just the one length instead of having this extra long piece of gear here, which um, I can do anyway. I'll just show you what Jill's idea came up with, which actually I should put on the end here. Like just one of those um like children's uh soft oh, spongy soft hammer little on, hammer oh, thing you're moving all over the joint yeah. johnny it was just a soft hammer thing yeah so. it's just like a soft uh, pool toy for kids but it's like spongy so, so i thought a, it, it had a hole already through it i've just pushed it a little bit larger so we can push this in and just screw it on there we go and where's your cup still? Uh, yeah, it's right. in front of you. I've got the first this, coat. This, of, this cup here. Yeah. I've got that cup ready and to undercoat it. Back there, like so. So I probably like need to put a thicker sponge by the look, or is that well, holding that, it? Well, that holds it at the end there, but it'd probably be good to have a bigger sponge at the front yeah. just to give it a little bit, I stop it so. flopping around. Because that has got to be... Um, uh, my spirit level. Can you check whether the whole gadget is level? Well, if this is level, the whole lot's level. Okay. Okay. Because you have got to use a leveler to check that where's, your. Where's the lead there, darling? It's in the drawer here. This, this one here. Yep. So he's just going to plug it in and show you. Mm. I've got my everything plugged in there. All my bits, bobs, and all sorts. So there's a switch here. Mm. There we go. It's turning it's nice on. and slow. See, it's turning. So oh, I'm so excited now. I can, I can pour over that and I can, um, well, I can pour over it. It'd be nice and easy to pour over. And I can, when it comes to me resin it, this is what it needs to do is turn slowly so the resin dries really equal and flat. So excited now. I'm going to get painting me up. Yeah, it's probably actually good to have it here so you can have a, something to catch the paint yeah, whereas if you have right, it yeah. closer in it's awkward because of the timber um, yeah. base. I might have but, to just get a little bit thicker sponge thing to push in my cup so yeah. it keeps it really... You probably don't want a smaller base than that because no, it will make it too No, because that's nice and yeah. that's perfect. Look yes. at that. Look at that. You've got my own custom Johnny K made um, cup turning duva thingy so very happy with that guys 
um, give John a bit of encouragement and um, thank you my hubby for doing that for me I really appreciate but it, do you think it's something that a woman can do all on her own yes um, it just takes a little bit of thought these brackets there's all sorts of angle brackets um, Jill just asked me to have it up higher because she thought she might end up with a larger Putting a pot, on a it pot or, something. or something like that yeah but you could have these just little 90 degree brackets and have it down closer to the um, thing but you've got to remember you've got a handle and and other things that might be in and the diameter of the pot that you want to put on it so and so we are all going to have some fun if you decide to give this a go and what i particularly want to do this for is because christmas is coming up so i can do some insulated cups mugs um wine goblets for chrissy presents yeah that's the okay Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Until next time. Bye for now.